Hey guys, it's Leverda1 here. Turns out, the United States is kind of on fire right now. In fact, things are burning not too far from where I am. So, we are not going to acknowledge that for the rest of this video, short of, uh... <laughs> Wait, hold on. That didn't quite go right. Ah, there we go. Uh, uh, there. Wait, hold on. We need to get it just right. Uh, I kind of, I kind of missed. Uh, down there. And, uh, uh, yeah. That'll, that'll do. That'll do. I think I was a little bearing on the East Coast. But yeah, we are not going to acknowledge that any further. In fact, we are going to go to my sims. We're going to work on our big project. Because this beautiful thing that we started in the last episode is our three very lovely planets, which we will quickly tour, just as a reminder. We have this planet, which looks like your your orange soda when you leave it in the car in the winter which i think is quite nice we're gonna leave the names randomized for most or all of these things because i think universe sandbox is a little more creative and a little less sane than i am not that i'm the beacon of mental stability but yeah we're gonna keep these Randomized, we're going to try to pronounce them. We've got Ernaluna, Ern Ernaluna, Ernaluna. Quite a nice name. Ernaluna with its own moon. Ndan, Ndan it, Ndan it. I think that's that's quite slides off the tongue nicely. And then Inaquita, which is this icy orange thing that's just a bit different than the other one. So what I plan on doing is fleshing out this solar system a little bit more in this episode. So several things we're gonna do. We're gonna have our classical gas giants. So let's put let's put one here and oh that's actually probably a little too Oh no, I thought that was 668 AU. 6 AU is quite acceptable. Uh, 66, that's probably too much. But we'll do, we'll do like these three. I know, I know at a certain point up around here, these things, they don't, they don't go so well around the stars anymore. We got... But yeah, let's, uh, we got two, or is that three gas giants? That, that should work quite nicely. So why don't we work on this one, Salaby. This one's actually pronounceable. A little bit gray, and that's unfortunate to cheer people up. We're going to make it, we're going to make it, we'll make it soda colored. Oh, we got a little bit of, let's, let's add some yellow maybe make that a little bit more of an orange yellow then we got we, eh, I don't know about green we'll, but we'll give green a try oh that's actually quite nice it's like a mango now and the blue now we got this I don't know what I don't know what this is called but we we got this make this is a this is a dark blue yeah see it's this nice gradient but I don't remember what it's called Anyhow, uh, we'll, we'll drop some, we'll drop some planets around it. I mean, some moons. Uh, although I kind of like the idea of a planet-sized moon. But first, we need to make this big boy a lot bigger. See, that won't do. This still won't do. This, this, this will do. I like this. We got a little big than a U, little bigger than a Jupiter. That's that is an acceptable size. And I don't think we should put any rocky planets, because that's probably not 
very good for stability but what we're gonna do we'll put we'll try to aim for some orbital resonances to make the system stable because that makes things stable is uh, if you look at the Jupiter moons and some other moons in the solar system and even uh, even a lot of the planets have resonances with each other like uh, for every two orbits one planet does another planet does one orbit it's quite nice stuff it's just because things are more stable that way for whatever reason but we'll we'll try to we'll try to make it like this so you can see I'm trying to aim for the grid somewhat I think that looks reasonable I'll put another moon right here uh, I think we'll let's see how these things orbit for a bit you can see these orbits are actually adjusting themselves although they don't seem to be doing it too much for now so I think that suggests that we came up with a fairly reasonable fairly stable system it would have been a bit harder if we put anything bigger but yeah it's looking nice here we got aura packs which is quite a nice name what kind of moon do we want this to be? Is this uh, the kind of moon, moon that'll do some tidal heating? It might be, because I just saw that temperature go up. If we wait long enough, who knows? Uh, yeah, the temperature's going up. Hope all the moons are still intact. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh. Well, that's, that's quite a... that's unfortunate. I'm curious, will it survive, though? Come on, we're gonna slow this down. This is this is exciting. This is uh, uh, I think it. I don't think it will, but I'll keep myself in suspense. We'll keep ourselves in suspense. So much for. Hey, I mean the temperature's going up because I was thinking we could make it habitable and. Uh, oh boy. Okay, we're gonna slow it down a little bit more. Uh, yeah, that's. Burning, burning bright, man. Woo! Exponential graphs, and we need to slow this down for a bright, beautiful, charring to a crisp moon. Whoa! Check that out. Now that's that's pretty neat, if you ask me. Look at look at this. This is a this is a hot moon, baby. Look at that. Are, are those those? Oh, I thought those were lights, but. I don't know. Are they lights? Are lights enabled for some reason? City lights illuminate... Uh, nope, they're not on. Okay. Well, those are just funny little islands, I suppose. Let's see. Hope you, get, you gentlemen are not hearing my Discord notifications. Let's, let's look at the temperature. Ooh, boy. That's, that's a... That's a... Yup. Okay. That's gone, but hey, hey, the, the lad lived to to tell the tale so that, that's got to count for something uh we'll we'll lead the leave this poor poor burnt to a crisp planet b right here and we'll we'll go back to fixing up this world this mango with blue planet oh boy these orbits are very screwed up i guess i was wrong about it being stable I just I just read things about astronomy. I, I don't mentally understand them. You see, like I, I look I like looking at the pretty planets and then it don't go through the brain so completely. Let's see, we got yes this this boy looks like a nice cinnamon bun to me, but I might just be hungry, even though it's not long after dinner, but. Idel, do we want to make any changes to Idel? I don't like that. I don't like high obliquity because that's that's just kind of it's kind of weird to look at a planet. Is actually, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna keep an open mind. We're gonna try to give this planet a wacky obliquity. We got the uh, we got this thing. We got we got a nice planet. Except I want it to be. See if it's actually ice. Cause, you know, it's composition. Yeah, there's a, there's a bit of water, so it, it is ice. 
Uh, can we change up the color of this at all? Yes, we can. Although, who knows it'll, if it'll actually be visible through the ice. It's slightly visible. I think if we give this a nice light blue, and then... Now we got these little blue things poking through everywhere. I don't know if that looks very pretty, but why don't we actually try it for try red? Red. And we got all the little red things poking through. Middle should also be red. Oh yeah. Blood moon. This is this is how an albino person looks when they get injured. Next on this in this wacky wacky planet land we got Ubone, 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 good enough. We are going to. You see, this planet looks like vaguely habitable, but it's not. It's just not committing on the ice. That's the issue. What are we gonna do about it? We'll, we'll give it an atmosphere. That's that's what I think we'll do. See. Nice and pretty and deceptive. It's lying to you about how habitable it is. So, what next? Think the second outer planet. We are going to give it. We're going to give the planet a. I kind of want to give it a ring system. Oh. Hold on, how big is this planet? It's a mass of three Earths. Uh, that's, that's way too small for a gas planet. Surface called on composition, yeah, that... Although we can we can make it somewhat water if this is an outer planet, but why can't can can we just get some nice pretty rings? There we go. Those rings are a little are, are they're pretty they're, they're pretty if you can see them ever. And then we'll we'll try to make a nice moon. We'll give it a single moon. We'll give it a single moon here. We'll try to adjust that to be properly in line with this ring system. It's not really feeling that way currently, but we'll give it our best shot. See, obliquity, argument of obliquity. Oh wait, that's, that's all rotation orbit can we get some orbit stuff there we go that's the orbit um let's see inclination argument of paracenter oh that's just okay that now this is what i'm talking about if we do 200, does that, how is that looking, uh, how is it cooking, good looking, uh, 205, and then inclination, I think we need to up the ante on the inclination, we'll go to 35, uh, 37, yeah, I mean it's not it's not completely on the on the ball or whatever that catchy phrase the youth uses but it's there it's there I think it works oh and we should probably make this unique I hate to be the the guy who who just does quirky colors but I'm feeling like we can just make this little green rock ice ball And maybe we can give it some. Let's see. Be 
funny to give it a hydrogen. Oh, okay, that's that's a little weird. <laughs> Although it's kind of funny having a gas planet or orbit a rocky planet. Not sure what the logic is behind this. Like suddenly at seven percent, the hydrogen ceases to be mixed in with the rock. Not sure that's exactly how it works, but alas, we will. Okay, now it's all ice, and that's not what we wanted. We need to. Oop. Ah. All right, just hearing totally normal sounds from outside. We are not going to worry about that. Going to got our funny green planet, and that's how I'm relaxing and relieving myself of stress. Now, finally, our last gas planet. Turn up th the gas to 100%, and we'll make this. It, we'll make it like a Neptune, and we'll give it one big moon, and we'll give it two small moons. Whoa, that's crazy. Very cool. Anything else that we should do? I think we are good. We're going to let this poor soul of a planet continue its voyage. I'm going to save this because I don't expect that I would remember. Replace! And Hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more and actually i just want to talk about and say what are your requests that i do in this crazy solar system or in general what do you want me to do next let me know in the comments below whoa good bye